problem number 51, we're taking a pyramid with height h and rectangular base with dimensions b and 2b, and we want to find the volume of it. So I've gone ahead and I've drawn this pyramid um, and laid it across the, the x-axis. So basically what we're doing here is we're taking, um, we're taking the area of the base, which has uh, dimensions 2b and b up here, and then um, we're summing these from 0 all the way out to h, because h is the distance between the base and then the tip, right? So what we're doing here is we're summing up all these rectangles, like so, from 0 all the way out to the tip. Okay, so basically the dimensions here, because this is 2b and I've laid it across like this, cutting it in half, the top part is b here and the low part is minus b. So the coordinate up here is 0, uh, zero b, and on the tip it's h, because that distance is h, 0. Um, and as we can see here, the area is going to change according to the height of this line that connects these two points. That's going to be our function that describes the changing height of these rectangles, um, and therefore the area is going to go uh, according to this height. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to actually find the function that connects these two points, right? So this is a linear function um, of y is equal to mx, and I've already used b here, so I'm just going to put plus c for the y-intercept, where m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if I plug in these points with this as uh, point 0.2 and that one as point 0.1, I'm going to get uh, 0 minus b over h minus 0, which is going to be just b minus h, right? Um, so our, our equation is going to be y is equal to minus b over hx, and then plus the y-intercept is just this point on the y that crosses the y the y uh, axis, so that's just b. Um, now that we have our, our equation, we can think about how we're going to set up this integral. So the integral is basically the sum from 0 all the way to h on the x-axis, from 0 to h, of this area of each rectangle. We're summing up these areas, so ax dx, and this ax just means that the function changes, sorry, the area of each rectangle, they change as a function of x. Um, so now let's think about how we're going to represent this, right? Well, the area of each one of these rectangles, um, it's just 2b times b, which is 2b squared, right? Um, but let's think about what is b. Well, b here is just, um, as we can see, b is the value from the midpoint all the way up, right? Because this whole thing is 2b. And it turns out that the value from the middle all the way up is just the height of that blue function, right? Um, so that's pretty nice because we can ex we can express this these rectangles as a changing height. So basically, if uh, which means that this is equal to I should have done this something two times f of x f of x squared, um, which is our area because b is equivalent to the point the height f of x where it touches this curve. Um, so once we we get this, uh, let's just expand our area, which is equal to. 2 times f of x is this guy, so minus b over hx plus b squared, which is equal to 2 times, um, let's see, that is b squared over h squared x plus, uh, sorry, that's going to be a minus when we fill this out, um, minus 2xb squared over h, and then plus b squared. Um, so we're ready to set up our integral, right? So this is the integral from 0 to h of, uh, I'm going to put the 2 outside because it's a constant, so 2 times b squared h squared x squared, and then minus uh, 2xb squared over h, and then plus b squared, and all of this times dx, because we're summing it up across the x-axis. So um, once we have this, it's 2 times, um, let's see, 2 times b squared over h squared times x cubed over 3, and then minus x squared divided by 2 is going to cancel out with that 2, so we're just going to have x squared b squared h, and then plus b squared um, b squared times x. And all of this evaluated from 0 to h. So let's evaluate this. Um, 
the lower part, whenever we plug it in for the x, is just going to disappear, going to go to zero. So we only care about the top part. So that is um, 2 times b squared over h squared, wherever I see x, I'm going to plug in h, times h cubed over 3 um, minus x squared, oops, not x squared, it should have been h squared, right? Minus h squared uh, b squared over h, and then plus b squared h, which is equal to um, 2 b squared, I'm just distributing, uh, oh no, I guess I'll, I'll leave it outside for now, 2, and then let's see, that is b squared, these h's, they cancel out, so that's just h over 3 minus, uh, that's just b squared h, because these cancel out as well, and then plus b squared h. So these two are going to cancel out, and then my answer is just going to be 2 b squared h over 3. Um, that's my volume of this of this um, pyramid with a rectangular base.